Welcome back to Wachico Affair. I'm still your host, Ev Duran. It's been a long time. A long time. Too long. And look at you, you haven't aged a day. Now, it's been over a month since our last episode, and I'm very sorry about that. You know, a little frustrated with some stuff, a little disenchanted, had some girl issues, I was really stressing. It was, it's all good, it's not important. What is important is that we are back, and we have a pretty awesome ninth episode for you today. Uh, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite local businesses, Top Spot Yogurt and Crepes. We're going to shine a quick spotlight on a young man by the name of Matt Mazzelko, who just recently toured through Chico playing some excellent music. We're going to talk to the Wiener Man downtown, and we're going to, I'm going to show you a little footage from a buddy's birthday party from a few weeks back that I'm sure my friends would rather I didn't. I can't really figure out why. If I remember correctly, it seemed like it was just a pretty mellow party. Oh, Ooh, shit. Um, let's get into the show. We got a good one. All right. I wanted to check out some local businesses around Chico, so I headed over to Top Spot Yogurt and Crepes. Top Spot is located in the Target Shopping Center, right next to the AT&T store and across the driveway from Jack in the Box. They have a wonderful self-serve frozen yogurt section, complete with over 70 choices of toppings. But the real specialty here is the crepes. I watched as manager Kyle Kanabi expertly whipped me up a couple of his favorites. First, he had to lay out the batter, and that looks like it takes talent. He was going to make me a breakfast crepe for the first one. Which was awesome. Came with cheddar cheese, some crispy bacon, some scrambled eggs, some fresh avocado, and a little bit of onion. And then the next one, he made me up something called the Californian, which he says is one of the most popular ones. Look at that skill. This one had feta cheese, some grilled mushrooms, some more avocado. Can't go wrong with that. Some delicious pesto dressing, and some fresh spinach. As I watched him cut that bad boy open and get ready to serve it, I didn't think it could get much better, but it did. He then whipped me up one of their dessert crepes, which was strawberries, banana, and Nutella, along with whipped cream. Shoot, I was ready to sit down and eat. I mean, talk to him. So I'm sitting here right now in uh, Top Spot Yogurt and Crepes with my friend Kyle Kanabi. Kyle, you are the manager here, is that correct? That's right. Right on, man. Yeah. Um, how long you guys been open here? Um, as of September, we've been open for a full year. Full year? Yeah. Right on. Uh, well, can you tell us just in general about, about the establishment here? Well, what we got going on is uh, crepes, obviously. We have a full crepe menu, everything from breakfast, a lunch, dinner type of thing, to dessert. And uh, we've got lots to choose from. You can always do like a crepe, your own type of crepe, too, if you don't see anything you like. Um, and then we do the yogurt thing, too. It's been pretty popular in Chico. Yeah. It's like the pay by the weight thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think we do as good as anybody in Chico. We got over 70 toppings, just crazy amounts of good stuff. Oh, right. what do you think about running like a restaurant around here? It's been pretty fun. It's definitely been an adventure. It's our first place. Uh, we're family owned. Nice. By a family up in paradise. So um, it's been fun. Chico's an awesome community. Chico has lots of great food options. And uh, this is just another one. You can't find crepes anywhere in Chico as far as I know. Yeah, what, how did that idea come up? Who came up with crepes? Um, it was kind of crazy because uh, as a family, we always used to go to like Pier 39 in San Francisco. And on the pier, there's lots of good food options there too. But one of the big attractions was crepes. Yeah. They had posted up and just like in their front window, people would walk by and check it out. It's cool to watch, and that's kind of, we tried to set it up as best we could for people to watch the action. How um, long did it take for you to master the art of uh, creating a crepe? Uh, probably a couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. Trial and error? Yeah, yeah. You'll eat a lot of crepes? Yeah, yeah. we did, yeah. <laughs> it was close enough to our house for a while. Nice, right on. Um, we, got, um, we got some really good prices. We try and keep the prices down. Um, we always run a $5 special for the crepes. Nice. So you always come in, usually get lunch for 5 bucks. We try to keep things local. We're a local business. Um, we get all of our produce from SNS locally. Oh, very cool. So they always give us lots of good stuff. All right, well, I'm going to dig into some of these. Yeah, try it out. That's really good. Yeah. Super tender. <laughs> <laughs> get my diner drive ins and dives on. It's super tender with a capital T. Mm. Just the right amount of flavor. <laughs> That's really good. You know, I don't even normally like mushrooms. Do you guys get local business customers? Like, did, does anybody ever come up from Best Buy or anything like that? Um, we had for a while there, and they stopped coming over. 
They're all losers over there at Best Buy anyway. Main, I think mainly because they were trying to get on a girl we had here at one point. <laughs> That's, that sounds like Best Buy yeah. always. No, we get people, <laughs> we get people from Target. Nice. All the time from AT&T. Yeah. We're like their lunch shop for sure. Mmm. That's really good. That yeah. Dessert. Yeah, that was bomb. Oh man. I gotta buy that. It's funny. Mm. Yeah. That breakfast one is as good as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. That's really good. It's like being on man versus food, just mm -hmm. I'm not a fat tool. <laughs> just a regular size tool. <laughs> Seriously. We're right next to all the shopping. We're right yeah. next to the Target, the mall, Best Buy, Winco. So, you know, while you're out doing your holiday shopping, you might as well stop by and try something different. Seriously. For five, six, seven bucks, it's like... Yeah. Next up, I took a quick stroll down to Has Beans for open mic night to uh, visit a young man named Matt Matelko who was touring through Chico on his way up to Oregon, um, just playing some awesome music, so check him out. This is the next song, it's called Dream Girl. Just take my hand and hold my face I'll show you things your eyes have never seen We'll play our cards and place our bets We'll go all in with no regrets Just promise me you'll trust me You'll trust me You can all clap your hands if you want I like that I'll tell your tales as you tell mine We'll speak of love and every crime We'll make a think we're funny What's your name, bro? Uh, my name is Matt Matelko. All right, right on, man. Good to meet you. I'm Everett. Nice to meet you. What are you we're here at Hasbeans right now? You're playing some music. What's uh, what's your story, bro? Uh, well, we're here in Chico right now. Um, I'm on tour right now with two other singer-songwriters, Josh Green and Danny Mitchell. Um, we're all from Southern California, and found out they had a nice little open mic here tonight, and decided to come jam. We're in Sacramento last night. Uh, is there a place people can check out your music if they want to? Uh, yeah, I have a Facebook page. Uh, it's a like page. Make sure you like it. It's facebook.com slash Matt Matelko Music. M-A-T-T-M-A-T-E-L-K-O Music. Beautiful. I'll throw that up on the screen too. Heck yeah, dude. Huh? Right, Head downtown to talk to a local favorite, the Wiener Man. With a name like that, you can't really go wrong. Alright, so I'm out here up downtown right now with the Wiener Man. Yeah. Wiener Man, I'm Everett. How are you doing? <laughs> Excellent, brother. Do you, do you prefer Wiener Man or you go by another name? Wiener Man it is. Wiener Man it is. All right, that's what I go by, too, if that was my nickname. There you go. All right, so what, what, how's your night going down here tonight, man? You know, something that's mellow towards the, the beginning of the night, I absolutely love it. Yeah. It gives me a chance to meet the local business crowd and the people going around and a chance to talk sports and Definitely. politics and just have, some, have a good night. Right roll, roll into the, the latter part of the night where it gets a little crazy. Busy. Yeah. Right on. Uh, okay. What, what, how long have you been doing this, man? My one year anniversary. One year anniversary? Yeah, yep, been here on the corner of Sucking Broadway since last year. I actually bought a cart number two. So I nice. Got, I got another cart going now. Very cool. So I'm uh, trying to make a presence in downtown and yeah. uh, you know, put out some good product and establish some good relationships. Most so, definitely. So. All right. Um, are you Chico local? 
Uh, originally from Rhode Island. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I went to San Clemente, my son went to Chico G- G- State, graduated, and now I moved up here close to my, my family and my two grandkids. Nice, very yeah, cool. Good stuff. All right, man. Wiener Man, it's been a pleasure, brother. You yeah. have. All right. Stop by again. <laughs> I will indeed. Thanks, guys. Give you Last but not least, I'm going to make some of my friends hate me. A few weeks ago was my buddy Sam's birthday, and we went out. We, uh, we had a nice, delicious dinner at Crush. Oh, my God. The filet mignon. Shit was off the hook. It was good. And we had a lot of drinks, and then we went out to some bars, and we had a lot more drinks. And then we headed back to, uh, to my friend Alan and my friend Dustin's house, and uh, we had ourselves a laughter party, like a bunch of high schoolers after prom. And it, uh, it was a wild night. There's, why don't you just take a look at it? I'm Pie Wall Street. Let the corporates be, bro. Let the corporates <laughs> they're just, be. They're just trying to make Let money. them rape the American economy, dog. We out here. We out here. Big here. business in the building, raping all y'all niggas. This That's is going. Possible. This is going on the next episode. I do not want this on the next episode. <laughs> Alex Smith is the guy. He's our fucking prince of the Flush. fucking Niners. Flush. And then he puts on AWOL Nation, and it all goes to shit. Alan and Max showing off some pretty sweet new dance moves. <laughs> White people dancing. Oh, shit. Real. Oh, man, she's cute. You want to fight, girl? You want to fight, girl? Stop, drop, and roll. Drop, and roll. Just drop, and roll. Just drop, and roll. That's real hip-hop. And obviously, we need more drinks after this. At this point, so, uh... I, I think uh, it's time to get back into a real interview, I think, was my train of thought. Let's say, let's say somebody is watching this right now, and they're like, look, I'm 21 years old, just new. I'm about to go out downtown Chico for the first time, and the only thing I want more than anything else in my life is some pussy. What is your advice for them? I would say go to Riley. <laughs> <laughs> what is her best What's move? Her best move? Look at the camera. Her what is her best move? Dive in the shallow end or... Take it deep. <laughs> no. She's diving the shallow end already if she's fucking with her. <laughs> and I'm out. Get it. No, and no, 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 no,